Hello. Welcome to this video where we discuss 10 of the best album covers in rock. Yeah. Not the 10 best. No. 10 of our favourites. 10 that we think are 10 of the best. Yeah. yeah. 10 of the best. Of is the most important word there. Because obviously there's, there's hundreds to choose from. So these are, this is take, these are all taken from our personal collections. Hmm. Here we go. Quick disclaimer, when we filmed this video, there was an almighty racket going on. We're in the middle of an industrial estate here and uh, yeah. right next to a railroad. This it's it's it just not your speakers or, or our microphones or anything. Yeah. It's um, somebody loading a train. Yeah, that's what that, that's what that noise what is. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Let's get stuck into it. So, so here we go. Let's get started. In at number 10. I mean, just in the 10. Uh, it's a classic. Great album, great band. Mr. Big, lean into it. That is a great album cover, if you ask me. Well, apart from the fact, what is it? What did you you Google it, Stephen? What, what, oh, what's oh, the? It's, oh. a, it's a famous. A famous um... Does anyone know what this picture is? I'll, oh. I'll get it up again. Uh, it's not that kind of show, Stephen. <laughs> the Mont Parasi. Mont Parasi. Eh? Derailment. <laughs> 1859. Uh, eight, 1895. Oh, actually. sorry. I get my facts wrong. Apparently, it's just a train driver trying to make up some lost time, and the, then the brakes failed. And the brakes failed, and I went through the side of the building. An iconic photograph. It's made. It's made a great, a great album cover. Uh, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a great one. That. I love it. Great album as well. That's one hell of a power, isn't it? Yeah, some serious power. <laughs> <laughs> His pout game is strong. <laughs> right. Wow. The Who. Live at Leeds. Yeah, the live at live at Leeds. Yeah. It's just simple, isn't it? Simple elegance in it. Shut the f up. Simple elegance in it. Simple elegance. It is. I mean, it's immediately recognisable. You'd see the thumbnail and know what album is. The, the brown and the red, and the it's, it's, it's just it's just the, the Who live at Leeds. So I'll say it's what you see is what you get. You get the Who live at Leeds. That's it. There's nothing, exactly. There's nothing else to look at. That is all it is. You just need to listen to it. Yeah. And and, and that's it. And it uh, could be none more Who. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the back is uh, the back is equally as. Uh, just simplistically sensational. It almost just looks like a stamp, doesn't it? To get into a gig sort of thing. Exactly, it's yeah. Like a exactly. gig stamp, that's it's, it. Exactly, yeah. Who live at Leeds? Next Numero one. Numero three. three. No, not in any order. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the Appetite for Destruction, but it's the original the original cover mm. with the uh, robot doing... Whatever he's, things. Unspeakable whatever things. Whatever he's doing. lady. Yeah. Poor lady. So girl. yeah, it's got a, it's got a boob on it. Let's 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 state the obvious here. You know. <laughs> There's a boob there. There is a bear boob. Oh, good sense. There is there. a boob. It's a cartoon boob, but it is there nonetheless. Boob, boob, boob. <laughs> the second. So they redid this cover, and it's the cross, wasn't it? It was the cross. Yeah, with, with, the, with, the, with the skulls on. With yeah. the five skull heads, and uh, it's great, and it's iconic and everything. But it almost makes this doubly kind of. Uh, did this did this cover get? Did it get banned? Yeah, it did. Is, yeah. Is, that, is that what happened? Is that why they changed it? I'm pretty did... sure. I, I, I'm pretty sure it was. A, it wasn't like a. It wasn't like oh, we better change this. It was like I you can't, can't imagine. Can't release this anymore. I can't imagine Guns N' Roses saying, "Ooh, what do you think?" You know, no, oh, no, it's no, a bit. No. Ooh, it's a bit tasteless. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit dangerous. We better reel it in. It's great. It, I mean, if there was ever a cover that summed the album's kind of temperament and uh, levels of aggression, it's just mm. incredible. Yeah. You know. One of the, probably the best, the greatest debut album by yeah, it's, 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 ever. It's incredible. Any band ever, I mean, really. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not the world's biggest fan of them, but there is absolutely no dispute in that. Yeah. And to cause that much sensation over an album cover, I mean, that's a, that's a feat in itself, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That, is a, that is a feat in itself, you know, with the way the, the music yeah. industry was. Because there's so much going on to look at them from, my mind tends to blend all the artwork together. So yeah. every time I look at it, it's sort of refreshing to see it and actually see what it is again. That makes me laugh. Oh. Contains lyrics which some people may find offensive. <laughs> but not the picture of the the, the, the young lady being as, as assaulted by a, a robot um, mm. is uh, somehow okay. That's fine. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we go even, back even further in time. A classic. An absolute classic. Deep Purple and Rock. Rock, rock, rock! Is that, is that the same in the front and the back? I just noticed. Or is it a gatefold? There's ten of them. There's only five of them in the band, weren't there? Oh. Oh, oh, it's a gatefold. It's, 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 it's in some action, oh, no. that, aren't it? No, although that's, that's, that's pretty lazy, if I'm honest. You know, <laughs> I, I, always, I always love Richie Blackmore's, open it up again. Oh, just his, his that, face. That, that, that stare he does, he's, yeah. he's, a, he's a terrifying man, isn't he? We really didn't do this intentionally, but it is a fantastic album. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, really. just in itself, yeah. But it's a, it's, a, it's a great cover. It's just a great cover. It's interesting. It's, it's hilarious, a hilariously ridiculous. <laughs> Isn't it? What I mean, I mean, what sort of an ego level uh, are you at when you when you think 
it's so spinal tap, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mount, know, it's Mount Rushmore, our faces. <laughs> yes. And this, there wasn't even, there's four on Mount Rushmore, isn't there? There's four presidents on Mount Rushmore. Poor Ian Pace has had to sort of been tagged on the end there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they argued about that. Well, I'm not going to be the little one at the end. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that's just awesome. I mean, I mean the colours, the blue, the white. Yeah. And, and it's called Ian Rock. A visual. <laughs> It's a, it's a visual pun. It's a visual pun. Do you pun. get it? Do you understand? In rock. It actually, actually, they're actually in the rock. Wagons World members, head over to our Patreon page now where the video on our own, it's upside down, where our video on our own album covers is discussed in detail. More detail than you, uh, than you detail, really need. Detail, detail, detail. Lots of detail. Head over there now and uh, we think you'll like what we've done. The mighty Judas Priest. The age old debate, musically as well, the kind of the maiden, maiden or priest, you know. I know I know we can like what we like. Yeah. Uh but there tends to be that the the, the, the little the, the kind of rivalry, don't they, musically, but and, and I think album album cover wise as well, the distinctive classic album covers, but for me, the, the priest album covers are they're just they're like otherworldly, aren't they? Incredible. Str fantasy uh, striking, interesting. Mm. I mean, what the hell is that? It's like some samurai tank. It's like a girl I used to go out with. With a guy there, a big, a big oh, yellow, she had a big yellow moustache. Well, yeah. What's well, I was saying to Baz earlier, it's sort of all the pre stuff's really cool because it all sort of links back into like just like metal industry, industry, yeah, industry. yeah, yeah, the steel industry. Yeah, I mean, I mean that and um, screaming for vengeance, vengeance um, turbo, turbo, yeah. Um, they had that eighties kind of like it's almost sounded like a machine kind of sound, yeah. you know, where they had that chorus effect on the guitars. It yeah, sounded yeah. like a, a giant robot. Yeah, yeah. If you manage to find a picture of, of all their album covers together, it's, it's all very similar symmetry. They, they've all got the, the, the angled lines across the album covers. They're, they're all, they look like they're, they're moving, if you like. Yeah, they're yeah, action yeah. shots, yeah. aren't they? Onwards. Onwards. Oh, Stephen. Get back, Stephen. Oh. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Stephen's pitched a tent. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, now that is an album cover. That's an album cover, and what is Bond wearing? <laughs> What's he wearing on the back? I was waiting for you to notice what he's wearing. Looks like he's going to come back from a christening. <laughs> I forgot how good this, but the back of this this album cover was. So obviously you've got your, you've got your iconic. That is that is a great album cover. Look how ace that is. If you can capture an iconic picture yeah. of you guys together, they're just worth the weight in gold, aren't they? Yeah. You know, absolutely. So many pictures of bands that are awful, it, but ACDC seems so photogenic, mm. and just have mm. this aura about them they can do whatever they want and it's just it's great great shot it's like you said as well everyone looking evil and moody and then there's just bond there bond like, he's, he's just, just he's just like what's <laughs> going on here then hey <laughs> stuck his head in totally not taking it seriously i think it's just one of those the picture there's they've not overdone the effort they've put into any of the poses either it's just yeah just them right yeah. what's next next, on, next, 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 next. oh contender so, so good we brought it twice Contender for the the best album cover of all time, oh. in my in my humble opinion. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Both of them. We did bring it twice. <laughs> we really did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll have one each. You can do the front. I'll do the back. So, but this this kind of does mean it. That's the gatefold one, isn't it? Is this the gatefold? Oh yeah, this is this was my okay, gatefold. Okay, fold. Really? All right. Yeah. And and, and they're just all round. Oh, yeah, just cool. the just the greatest. Yeah. This at the whole. <laughs> I'm showing it all twice. <laughs> just tell you, we'll just use one. The whole the whole thing. I mean, what a picture that is. I got, I got this album, this is one of the first albums I bought myself from a car boot sale, and I just picked it up, the cover obviously, I was like, well, what is that? And that, that and opened it up and saw that and thought, it's just unbelievable. Rainbow Rising, just a perfect, I mean, perfect rock album for me. Perfect perfect album. The artwork's a masterpiece, the songs themselves are all masterpieces. You're looking at the rainbow and the, and the fist and what's going on, there, and then you notice the little guy down at the bottom. It took me years to notice. <laughs> <honestly. laughs> no, yes, yeah, yeah. And you got the castle. It's, and then the guy's signature down there. It's just, it's just amazing. Just an amazing. We haven't been mentioning any of the artists involved here. I, um, I know we're not talking about music, but that, the, the whole package here is just absolutely a. I mean, you're doing an album correctly when side two only has two songs on it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, talk to a Rush fan here. You've got, you've got to love the fact that there's there's only lyrics to one song. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. There we go. Right. Anyway, there you go. Rainbow, Rainbow Rising. Rush. Uh, we were talking about the, uh, the the band photo being absolutely worth its weight in gold, and I think this is a fantastic album cover. I don't know why it just captures captures the band. No place to run by your fault. I don't know. There's just something about it. I don't know if it's the setting or, or, or I don't know where it was. I don't know where it was where it was pictured. I love all the green writing. You know, it's like scr scrawled. 
not the biggest album by any means. In fact, I actually think this is quite a commercially successful album, but it was it's post Schenker. It's the first one they did with uh, Paul Chapman as a fully fledged member. And mm. it was recorded by uh, George Martin as well of the Beatles. Ah, oh, right. He tried to foray, like make his a uh, make a start into the rock scene of things, and UFO just totally put him off that for life. I, <laughs> <laughs> I love the black and white and the green. I just think it works really well. Yeah, it's awesome. Now this is what an album cover that is. Why stick? Five and a half of the sea. That is an ace album being, cover. Being immortalised in the oil okay. oil paints. This this is this is a talk about vinyl for a second. This is this is what's great about vinyl. The pictures are, are huge and you see mm. the detail and you can see all the martial amps and you can see the bits of the crowd and it's interesting to look at and you look at these things while you're listening to the music and you're almost transported yeah, there's a be part of the band or part of the gig or at the show. It's just it's brilliant. Uh, and it's like, like it seemed like bands did a few albums and then they did a live album and it was almost like a sort of best of type thing. Look, it just it's, it's just it's so, it's so much going yeah. on. It's interesting. It's just it's just brilliant, vibrant, and it's proper white snake. If you don't mind me saying, you know, look at that, John Lord. Yeah, just, just wailing away on the Hammond. You can hear that if a picture could make a noise. <laughs> that's what you can. That, that would be the loudest album cover ever. Yeah. The last one, but in no order. Absolutely no order. No. But this is an absolute classic. Black Sabbath, Heaven and Hell. I think you'll agree that's a stroke of genius. I think that's also based on a real picture as well, of three nuns smoking. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I, I think that mm. is based on something. It's not. Google it, Steve. It's so it's so it's so rebellious, isn't it? It's it's just um, I love it. Uh, the album's cover art was taken from a painting by artist Lynn Curley, Smoking Angels, inspired by a 1928 photograph of women dressed as angels smoking backstage during a pageant. Ah, see, ah. I know. Yeah. Mm. It's like cartoonified, and it, it almost becomes um, bold and striking, and it's just it's just awesome. You know what I mean? It just fits just fits the music. Every one of these albums has been amazing. Maybe it just plays into the theory that it all works together, doesn't it? A great mm. album just enhances the experience. It all has to be connected and it's all part of a one big product, isn't it? You know, definitely. And an experience. Unbelievable. Just incredible. So there we have it. Yeah. It's ten of the best. Ten of the best, not the ten best. Ten albums that exist. These are definitely <laughs> album covers. <laughs> ten album covers. That's it. If you think we've well, we've obviously missed a load because we, we we discussed at length which ten to do just for this video. So any any things you think uh, would be uh, on that list? Also, mm. let us know in the comments. That would be uh, interesting to yeah, read. Yeah, definitely. Through. Let us know your opinions on it, and uh, if you think we're right, or if you think we're wrong, or if you completely disagree with what we've chosen here, or which is which is probably uh, which is yeah. probably going to happen. I hope it does happen. Yeah. yeah if, if you've got an opinion on it, just let us know. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I'm dead interested in it. This is the great thing about it all. You know, everybody's everybody's opinion is different. Yeah, Only yeah. ours is right. Yeah, exactly. Because we got the camera. Because we got the camera and the microphone <laughs> yeah, and the really loud yeah. thing outside. You've got a lot of words at the bottom and nobody cares about it. <laughs> Head over to Wagon's World now, if yeah. you remember, and uh, we'll be discussing our own album covers. Mm. All five, or six of them. Thank you very much. See you soon. See you soon. <laughs>